some of you may or may not know that Blitz has a twin sister. Her name is Barbie Wire. We first saw her in a flyer for the Amazing Imp siblings on Imp HQ's wall in the pilot, though it's since been retconned to be the Amazing Imp twins. Rest in peace, Tilla. Just who is Barbie and what's her relationship with Blitz like? Let's find out. First though, please subscribe to ensure that you don't miss out on future Hell of a Boss theories. Not many of you do and I'd really appreciate it as it stops the algorithm from sending my channel to the abyss. Check the description for my socials. Now back to the video. Obviously, Blitz and Barbie had a double act called the Amazing Imp Twins. While we don't know for sure what their shows would involve, Fizz mocked Blitz, saying that people would run away when he told his lazy jokes, and then he went on to strongly imply that nobody loved him. Basically, he was shit. While he could be lying or exaggerating, I don't think it would get under Blitz's skin like it did if he was. It's also worth noting that Fizz in fact doesn't mention his sister sucking, and this may suggest that actually Blitzy was the weak link to a genuine talented performer. Even looking at the flyer, Blitz looks very nervous, whereas Barbie seems far more confident. There are far stronger reasons I believe Barb was successful, which we'll get to in a moment. So why was Blitz even part of this duo if he wasn't any good at it? There's a decent chance this whole thing was something forced upon the twins by their father. Blitz has explicitly stated that his father didn't support his dreams. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? So we know this isn't his first choice to begin with. Also, don't you think their title, The Amazing Imp Twins, sounds rather like a parent trying to exploit their kids, rather than a name they themselves came up with? Anyway, as Hallucination Fizz said, Blitz went solo. Maybe he did so out of insecurity about being the weak link, or even because of his jealousy towards his twin outshining him. We know what became of Blitz afterwards, but what about Barbie? Barbie became a victim of addiction. We know this from Verosica mockingly saying that his sister says hi from rehab. This is prefaced by Verosica saying that they let her out because she's still famous, claiming that rehab is for sad or loser washups. This actually tells us quite a bit about Barbie. Verosica making a point of still being famous would imply that Barbie was famous but is no longer. Calling her a washup backs this up, as she would have had to have been famous in the first place to become one. Without Blitz, she became a celebrity. In other words, Blitz was indeed holding her back, and she's genuinely talented. With every talent, I'm so much more talented than at least she was before becoming an addict. If she truly is a washed up has-been, then it almost certainly would have been the addiction that led to her downfall. It would have for sure had a detrimental effect on her performances, and the reckless behaviour it resulted in would have tarnished her public image. As for why she would have became addicted, I'd reckon the stress of being in the public eye finally got to her. Also, keep in mind that although she would have been extremely talented, there's still the very high possibility that going into that field was what her father wanted, and not what she wanted. She she most likely wasn't happy. It could also be that she became depressed because Blitz went solo. Despite being the weak link, Blitz might have been the only real friend and support Barbie had. I very strongly believe that Blitz feels responsible for the state of his sister. When he went solo, he probably cut off all communication with her. As we know, he's afraid of being hurt, and because of this, he pushes away those closest to him. Blitz is also self-loathing, calling himself names vicariously through the figures in his hallucination. They resent you for being a selfish shit. <laughs> Because of this, I think it's extremely feasible that he'd blame himself for what became of his sister, feeling like he abandoned her. I also think Blitz hasn't ever tried reaching out to his sister as he felt like she didn't need him. Again, Blitz is a victim of self-loathing and he probably felt like dead weight to her. I mean, it's when he left that her career took off, which would certainly send the message that he isn't needed. However, I believe she actually both needed him and still needs him more than ever. As I said earlier, Blitz might have been the only real friend and support that Barbie had. To me, it says a lot that Blitz kept the flyer for the Amazing Imp Twins on the wall. Despite it presumably being one of the worst times of his life, something he might have even changed his name to escape from, he still keeps it hung up. He'd only do this if he loved his sister, and probably because he misses her. As for whether or not Barb would actually blame Blitz for their estranged relationship, or even her addiction, there is a possibility. Some addicts do tend to blame others rather than take accountability. This might be why she hasn't contacted him. This is your 
Regardless of who's to blame, I can totally see them working things out. We know Blitz must still love his sister dearly, and I'm sure Barbie feels similarly. I think their healing will start when they stop blaming themselves and each other, and start blaming their asshole father. Season 1 of Hell of a Boss seems to have a lot more to do with Blitz's love life than his family, and it'd be a bit of a struggle to fit her into the storyline with Stolas and Fizzaroli being at the forefront of the season's penultimate episode. However, I think we'll see season 2 be a lot more family-centric. Hit like to support the video, hit subscribe for more theories like this, and comment with your thoughts down below. Again, my socials are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.